Hey, what's up? My name's Dustin, and today I'm gonna show you how to build this super awesome animation with CSS. I'm gonna write this with SCSS to show you how I can speed it up, but I'll also show you how this is done with just CSS. This is a really cool animation you could use for a loader or just something cool for your website or app. Let's get started. I'll first start with an index.html file, and then I'm going to create an app.scss file. Inside the HTML, I'll pop in some boilerplate and then I'm going to click on my app.scss file and at the very bottom, I'm going to click this watch SAS button and it's going to create my app.css file for me. So just above my title tag, I'm going to link the app.css file and for the HTML, it's super simple. It's just going to be one container uh, with a class of dots and inside we're going to have five containers with the class of just dot. And that's it for the HTML. So if we hop in the app.scss, I'm going to just kind of start it off with some boilerplate here too. I'll do a margin and padding of zero and a box sizing of order box. And that's just to kind of reset the uh, browser defaults. For the body, I'll do a display of grid and we'll place the items center with a minimum height of 100 view height and we're going to give it a dark background color all right so let's take a look at what this looks like in the browser so we just have our dark background color now and i guess let's just start on the dots so on the container itself i'll do a display of flex we'll justify the content center and align items center and this is going to center our dots in the container. So since we are using SCSS, we can nest. So let's go ahead and nest our five dots in here. And let's give them a height and width that are the same with a border radius to make them a circle. And let's also give them a border of two pixels solid and we'll use that same background color. And we'll initially give them a blue background color so that we can see them. Sweet, so now we see our five dots in the browser. We want each of them to start at a different time. So we wanna give them different animation delays. So first thing I wanna do is just create the animation itself. So we'll call this one jump. And at 100%, what we can do is just say, transform translate and we want to do translate y negative 5 rim and we want to scale it up we can do like 1.9 and i believe that's it i believe that's all we want to do so if we go ahead and we add this animation we can say jump 0 0.8 seconds ease in out we can do infinite and alternate you'll see that they all start at the exact same time. We'll have to add in an animation delay, but if we give them an animation delay of, you know, one second here, they all have the same animation delay. We want basically the first one to have an animation delay of let's say one second, then the second one have one of two seconds and three and then four, um, but that's not easy to do. We could target each dot individually and write that, but an easy thing to do would be to just use a loop in SAS. So we could just write at four I from one through five. And that's basically saying, hey, I is gonna start at one and each time the loop runs, we wanna increment it and we wanna do this five times. Uh, and we're using five because we have five dots. So basically we wanna target the very first dot through the loop and do something with it. So since I holds the value of one the first time through the loop, and then two and then three and then four, we can actually put that here um, for the nth child so that each dot can get accessed. So we'll write the pound sign and then a set of curly braces and then our variable. And what do we want to do? Well, we basically just want an animation delay and we can also use this variable again. We can do I times 0 0.1 seconds. And if we hit enter, you'll notice that now they each have an, a different animation delay. And if you wanna see that, we can go into the CSS file that's rendered from the SCSS that we wrote. And it's basically doing what I said, where we would take out each one of these individually and write a separate animation delay. 
but using a loop kind of does this for us, so it's pretty nice. So we have an animation delay of 0.1 seconds on the first dot, and then 0.2, then 3, then 4, and so on. So yeah, it's a pretty easy way to do this animation. Oh, I did forget we aren't using our purple color. So we also want to do a background color of purple. Let's get a purple in there. Cool. So yeah, now it looks purple at the top, blue at the bottom, and every one of the dots have their own animation delay. So I hope you enjoyed this quick guide. Like and follow for more Treehouse tips. See ya.